Sometimes when we shoot our videos, we forget to set our white balance and what it should be. Or sometimes due to reflection from some colored object, our skin tone gets very weird. Or sometimes if we set white balance to auto, our camera messes up that. Hey everyone, my name is Junaid Qureshi and welcome to the channel. If you are visiting first time, consider subscribing. So, how do we fix this bad skin tone? Obviously, you don't have to reshoot the video. But what if I tell you that there is a very easy way to do that? Yes, in Final Cut Pro X. The best thing is, you don't have to buy any extra plugin. How cool is that? So let's jump straight to the Final Cut Pro and let me teach you the easiest way to fix skin tones. And yes, this is how I fix my skin tone all the time. So here I am guys in front of my computer, you can see the screen recording. Now we are going to start how we can achieve perfect skin tone. Uh, you can see that I'm using the same footage which you have seen in, in the beginning of this video. As you know from my previous tutorials that I use adjustment layer, right? This is what my adjustment layer is and this layer I'm going to use for Rec 709 LUT, which I always use because I record in s -Log 3. So this is my uh, first stage to Rec 709. Now let me put another adjustment layer on top of it to adjust exposure of this shot. Let me do it real quick for you guys. So now the exposure is pretty much good. I'm happy with it. And now we will start doing something with our skin. Again, another adjustment layer on top of all other adjustment layer. And this adjustment layer we will use for skin tone. First thing we will do in our inspector window, we will crop this footage from left. We will only crop till my forehead is visible. So we can have really clean detail of our color. So the best way to know where our skin tone is, uh, we need to open uh, our vector scope. And in vector scope, there is a line. This line reflects the perfect skin tone. So if it's not open in your Final Cut Pro, just click this place and uh, here you see in view section, there is show skin tone. Now our skin should be on somewhere near to this line. Now you can see the high highlighted place is more towards the green one, which I already said. So how we will correct this skin tone? We will select our color correction through color correction panel and we will select hue saturation curves from here. So now from hue versus hue, we will pick up this color picker and we will make a little bit bigger selection so we can have all the shades of the same hue. So now you can see that our color is somewhere here. What we will do, we will we will press shift and command. With shift, your selection will not travel from right to left. It will only go straight up and down with this line. And uh, with this command button, it is going to move in very small and very precise manner. Now we will move it uh, until we will get this place near to this line. You see, you see this? Here we are. Now we can go back to inspector and uncheck this crop. Now you can see the color of my skin tone is very much near to real. So if I turn off this adjustment layer, you will see the difference. See, there is clear a green tint on my skin, which is gone and it's more towards orange and a little bit reddish, which is always a skin tone. So now we, we, we have to uh, make one thing correct as well, because as I have mentioned previously in my other videos that skin brightness should be between 70 to 75 luma. And in our case, the brightest part is barely crossing 70. So now what we will do, we'll go back to the same layer of hue saturation curve and we will pick the picker from hue versus luma. Luma is the brightness. We will select our skin from here and now we will again press shift and command and we will start taking our skin to the brighter side. Now the brightest part is touching 75. To verify that uh, skin tone is perfect, we will go back to inspector and turn off this crop. So we can see the full face of your subject. In this case, I am my subject. We will again open this hue versus luma, press shift and command and start playing with this. Unless you see that the brightest part is not blowing out. You see, I guess this is really good. It's perfect. A uh, little bit less. The peakest, brightest part is little bit crossing 75, which is quite good. Now you can see clearly 
that skin tone if I turn off this layer here it is and here it is now here it is here it is now you can clearly see that how much we have improved and when I turn off this layer you can see there there is so much green tint this is my skin tone actually this part shows my skin tone and they, you can see clearly so many green tints are there so when I turn on that layer you see the green part will go away and replace with the reddish tone here it is and um, uh, trust me this uh, skin tone is always very subjective some people like real uh, little bit reddish tone some people like too much pale some people like a uh, little bit orangey sort of uh, skin tone but for me this is the skin tone which I believe that I have originally so here it is my skin tone how easy was it try doing it three four times you will eventually get better I hope you have liked today's tutorial if you have learned something from this video then consider liking and subscribing and if you think video worth sharing then please do so this is it for today see you in the next one Ciao.